Hi, my name is Lisa Johnson and I work at the Blue Island Public Library in the Children's Department. Today I'm going to show you a simple craft that you and your children can do while we're all in a quarantine. It's a fun, simple craft, but it'll definitely have the kids entertained for at least a few hours. What you'll need is a basic uh, wind chime craft like this. You can pick these up at any Oriental Trade Store online, World SNS World uh, Store online, Amazon, or even Michaels. Because most of the stores are now closed, it's best that you seek for seek these items online, and they're pretty. Ex inexpensive you'll find most of them in bulk okay so what I'm going to use along with this kit is I've got a bunch of metallic markers that I'm going to use uh, 10 and then I've got a basic black marker as well I even have a white metallic marker so it's a quick craft you can use paint for this but most parents may or may not want to use paint. I always opt for markers because they're less messy and the cleanup is pretty quick. I'm also going to have paper towels here on hand just in case I make a mark. I don't want to put anything on the table and have it messy. So let's get started. We have your basic wooden dinosaur. And it's wooden and you can color both sides if you like. I have string here for the wind chimes and string to hang up the actual dinosaur to any window or door of your liking. And I also have four metal pipes and those are the wind chimes that's well they make more noise when they're dangling by themselves so with all of this together let's get started so I usually like to be colorful when I'm doing a painting of some sort or coloring so I'm going to be creative if I can with um, my color choices and I'm going to start with the basic green and I'm just going to take some simple strokes and move about this dinosaur as quickly as possible I'm not going to definitely color every episode of every space in this right now in green because I'm going to come back with like a another color to kind of blend in with this to jazz it up. I also don't want to make this video too too long so I'm going to try to get through this as quick as possible and not bore anyone. <laughs> now that I have my first color on, I'm gonna switch and go for a little bit of yellow to kind of fill in where I have open available spaces. Sort of marrying the two colors together and giving a great image, a great effect. I'm using an up and down motion, kind of almost like a scribble effect.
You can use as many colors as you like or as less as you like. The choice is totally up to you. I think I'm going to add a little bit of this, what it's supposed to be yellow, it's actually turning out to be a kind of an antique gold, which I happen to like. And I think it is working out beautifully on top of the green. Okay, I'm gonna go for one more color. And I think, I think I'm going to go for this copper color to give me some dark brown elements in here. By the way, I'm not a professional colorer. I just happen to like coloring. And right now, Markers are my choice of weapon when it comes to coloring. And I think I'm just gonna outline it a little bit to give it a little bit of mm as we as we go on this color journey. Now that I have my outline done, this is what I've come up with color scheme wise so far. Now, I can stop here or I can let the creative juices flow and add another color or two. But I still have a full side that's undone. And I figured since I made this one kind of a greenish gold, I would do something a little bit different and a little bit more out there in color. So what I'm gonna do, turn it over, I'm going to go for an orange and maybe a purple and probably a blue. For the base color, I wanna start with purple. I'm gonna try to um, You'll see what I do. Oh, it's a little dark. But these are metallic markers that I actually purchased on at Amazon for a reasonable price. I believe it was less than $10. Again, like I said, you can color these with crayons. You can use paint if you like or markers I just choose to use markers because it's a lot less messier for me it's quick and I'm not getting as dirty as I would with paint but it's a preference that of whatever you would like to use let's see Alrighty, I'm going to finish this and I'm going to come back with a finished okay, product. So I finished coloring it and this is what I came up with. And these are the actual markers that I used to color it with. Now keep in mind these are metallic colors so they're not going to come out completely the color that they are on the caps, which is fine. I think using metallic colors in this type of project is pretty cool. So now what I'm gonna do, because it's an instant dry, these markers, I'm going to tie on 
the little pipes with the string that I have attached here. Well, to attach it, I'm sorry. You want to use the silver string to attach these, and you can make them any length you want on your dinosaur. So I'm going to stick the string through the first hole. Oh, I should tell you that there are four holes here, and um, there. I just dropped one of the chimes, so I'm gonna pick that up. You take the string that you have available that comes in the kit, and you stick it through the hole. And if you can tie a knot, tie a knot. If you are unable to, get mom or dad to help you tie the knot. Almost got it. Okay. The first one. And I'm going to tie a second now to secure it. And pull that through. Okay. I've got the first one. There is a hole that goes directly from one side to the other on the chime and you're going to stick the string through the hole and tie a knot. There we go. Now I'm going to tie a knot. First one. And I'm going to tie a second knot to secure it. For this video being too long, I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I've done. I colored the second side of the dinosaur in this rainbow color pattern that I got going on. And I've attached all four chimes to the bottom of it using everything that was in the supply kit that they give you. And I attached the string so that you can hang it from wherever you like to hang it, door or window, whichever one is your preference. Here are the colors that I used. I tried to think outside of the box with a dinosaur and keep the colors kind of fun and bright. These are metallic colors, so although the caps have pretty, pretty bright colors, these are metallic colors, and this is kind of a clean white wood, so the colors are going to show up a little different, but overall I think it's cute. And this is the final product. Green and gold and rainbow. Like I said, you can color it any color you like and design it however. Right now, the last thing I'm going to do is sign my name on it and we are done. And thank you for watching and like and share this video. Thank you. Hi everyone.